What's up, Survivor Fanatics? This is KJ48, and welcome back to my Let's Play 4, Hold Your Own! Alright, guys, you guys seem pretty gung-ho about Episode 1. I just put up Episode... Er, episode 2 is going up in, like... Actually, it just went up. No comments yet, so I don't know what you think about Episode 2, but you guys were gung-ho about Episode 1. I'm so happy about that. Um, let's play some more. Alright, so I think today we're going to get into some base building. The first couple episodes, we kind of got our feet wet. Um, there was a lot of action, a lot of looting. Um, I think it's time to show... Uh, you know some of the base building mechanics. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to expand this base out I'm not gonna go too crazy with this base But I do want to expand it out a little bit and um, it's not gonna be crazy. I'm thinking like maybe Maybe we should make a second floor on it. I'm not really sure if I want to make a second floor. The thing is, uh, last time I played, there's like a lot of like uh, workbenches and stuff, which I'm really happy about. Um, on a little side though, I love games that have a lot of workbenches. And what I mean by that is you need a lot of floor space. It gives you some stuff to put in your base. Um, I, I have a real problem with games that have like really cool base building mechanics, but there's nothing to put in the base, you know? And I think uh, workstations is an excellent way to show progression and also uh, gives you a reason to have a base with like a good amount of area in it. You know, you don't have to make mega bases, but you want to have bases with a decent amount of area. So um, let's go ahead and see what we got here. I think the first thing we're going to want to do is build a good amount of foundations. I'm thinking like... Well, we're gonna need poles um, or pillars, so let's go ahead and make. We're gonna make four of these at a time, just so we can cancel if we need to. There we go. There's certain crafting games that when you like set up a big queue, right, um, you will get, I like, uh, you will get the items as they craft. Like this, like, I'd make four of these, and if it takes 16 seconds to make four of these, I would get one every uh, four seconds, right, or something, whatever. Um, yeah, four times four is 16. Uh, but in this game, you have to finish up the entire crafting queue in order to get any of them, and then you get them all at once. Um, I don't know a lot of games that do that. It's, it's, it's kind of weird, <laughs> um, honestly. We're also going to need some more iron um, pretty badly. I would really like to get the anvil up today. Um, as well, and while we have the daylight, why don't we uh, go get the? Why don't we go look for some iron? And then what we'll do is, um, how many arrows do I have? I got a decent amount of arrows. Um, yeah, we'll we'll go out here and we will get some. Um, we'll get some iron, and then we'll be able to make the anvil, and uh, we'll work during the night. I should be able to set up enough torches to work during the night. Um, some people are asking me if you could sleep. I don't think you could sleep in this game. You couldn't last time I played it, and I don't really see any option to. So I'm I'm just you know my. My excellent powers of deduction, as I put my two fingers on my temple and I think really hard about it, um, probably can't sleep. Uh, unless I'm missing something. I, I very well could. Um, I know the developers are very hard uh, working for uh, the game. Um, basically, what I think they're up to is I think they're trying to get multiplayer working properly. Um, I've actually been told recently that um, my, original, I, my original thought was that the hardest thing to do in game development was AI. Now, I've had some people tell me, um, now these aren't people I really know, they're just people on the internets, the interwebs, who says that AI is not that hard. Um, actually, crafting, um, uh, making multiplayer in a game is the hardest thing you can do. And from what I'm seeing, that might be the case, because like a lot of these games, like um, Subsistence and, and Hold Your Own and um, Mist, right? They, 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 they seem very shy about doing multiplayer. It sounds like it's very difficult. Um, so I know the I know the guys uh, the developers of this game are working hard on multiplayer. The last update I saw them on Steam was September fifteenth, I think. So um, I'm as, I, I, they got to be working really hard on multiplayer. So they just keep their heads down and just bust their asses, and um, that's all you can really ask for. I'm gonna try and get in touch with them and find out where multiplayer is, see if I can get some information for you guys. Um, uh, they sent me a mail, like, uh, I think at the end of August or something, uh, telling me that the game has multiplayer, wanted me to play it again. And I was like, I was like, well, I do want to play it. I want to play a Bloodstalker and, and Mike, but we don't want to restart it all the time. Um, so let me know when it's stable. And he was like, okay, I'll let you know when it's stable. And I haven't heard from him since. So they, they must be, you know, got their nose and nose to the grindstone. So we're just going to go ahead and get some more iron here. Okay, the game's a lot more peaceful than it was last time I played because last time I played there was like hunters roaming the island um, That does not seem to be the case or at least I haven't run into any yet uh, We obviously I obviously have to worry about uh, bears because the freaking bears, right? I mean as, as I as I save um, That that bear man. He was uh, he reminded me of the, the the zombies in the walking dead like they're quiet 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 until they don't need to be or until they're until the the, the director tells them not to be and then they're really noisy Oh, by the way, the other rock I was hitting, I didn't mention it, but that was copper. 
Oh boy. All right, let me get some uh, iron, guys, and uh, then I'm going to go home. We'll do, we're going to do some crafting, baby. We're going to do some building. We're going to do some crafting. It's going to be awesome. Game's really creepy at night. I got caught out at night, um, but I wasn't that far away from my base. And thankfully for me, I didn't run into any bears. All right, so let's come on in here. God, this game. This game's just gorgeous. All right, you know what? Let's make some more torches. I don't even remember what it, what it takes to make torches. Um, tools. No, actually, is it under... I think it's under miscellaneous for some reason. Yeah, ground torch. Oh, okay. Oh, it takes animal fat. That's right. That's why I couldn't make any more. Do I really not have any more animal fat? That doesn't sound right. Hmm. Maybe it's rare? I don't, I don't know. That's, that's kind of weird. I'm not really seeing any, so... Maybe I put it in here? Oh, yeah, I put it in there. Okay. And we need uh, cloth, or, uh, cloth as well. But I think we need cloth for bandages, so maybe we should save the cloth. Yeah, you know what, guys? We're going to save the cloth. The bandages, bandages are going to be like gold. All right, so um, let's see what we got here. Um, I do have my um, my platform there. Let's get the uh, let's get the iron cooking up. I, I'm going to have enough iron for what I need, I think. If I have seven iron ingots, yes, I am going to have enough iron. Uh, we're going to throw all this stuff in there. Actually, I'm going to keep this stuff. Uh, we got to put it in the other one for the, for the nail mold. I'm assuming the nail mold is going to get used up. Because, uh, well, yeah, max stack 25. So you can, you can stack the nail molds. They're definitely going to get used up. Um, the only time I've ever worked in, in a game where um, they used molds like that was uh, Seven Days to Die, and the, and the molds did not get used up. And I think in reality, molds don't get used up. Like, it's like a mold. You, like, make something, you pop it out of the mold, and the mold is still there. Um, all right, so uh, how long is that going to take? All right, that's going to take a while. So why don't we just go ahead and throw all these in here. I'm going to try and remember to turn this off, or else I'll waste wood. Um, but we got eight minutes before we have to think about it. All right, so uh, I think what we're going to do... We can move this, right? Oh, you can't move walls? Oh, that sucks. I didn't know that. I didn't know you can't move walls. Okay. So... Maybe I can use this as the entrance way. And I can move this stuff. I just can't move the wall. Well, the wall... We're going to have to destroy the wall. God darn it. Do we get, actually, can we destroy the wall? I don't see any option. Oh, that might be a problem. Oh, you could delete it. You just can't move it. All right, I'm not going to move it just yet because I'm not sure exactly what I'm doing here. My, my idea is to put another platform right here and then have that as the, um, like, kind of like a porch. And then you walk in and this is like an entranceway and then the base is like over here. And yeah, I'm almost positive that wall is going to be, well, maybe, maybe. You know what? Maybe I won't have to break it out. All right, enough talk. Let's do this. All right, so rotate is R. Damn it, I forget what rotate is. X? No, X is move. Oh, yeah, X is rotate. Good. Look at me remembering stuff. It's been known to happen. I wish you could move the uh, the building things, too. All right, so why don't we move... Oh, boy, this is going to be dark no matter what I do, isn't it? Don't like making dark videos. Oh, man, we need more cloth. Where do we get cloth? You have to, you have to loot it, right? I don't know if you can craft it. I didn't, I didn't see a... A crafting recipe for cloth. Oh, I, oh, there it is. Oh, oh, it's expensive, but there you go. Awesome. Cool, you can make cloth. Okay, then what we'll do is we'll make some cloth. And then after that, since we can make cloth, and, you know, that stuff's not that hard to get, um, when that stuff's made, actually, not when that stuff's made, I'll just take the cloth out of here or make some more standing torches. Because I want to, I want to, like, make videos at night, but I'm not going to make dark videos. So, just, I'm not going to do it. I'm not going to do it, people. Why the frig did I not record that? Holy freaking crap, dude. I'll tell you right now, if I recorded that, it never would have worked. So, I heard a cow. So, naturally, there's a buck over here because all the animals sound like cows, right? So, I'm like, oh, a buck. And he's like wandering around. I could barely see him. So, I was like, well, let's do this. And then it went pitch dark and I couldn't see anything. And I was like, if I shoot him, he's just going to run away. And I was like, eh, let's just go for it. Arrows are cheap. Headshot, 100 damage, and he's dead. And I didn't record it. Son of... Uh, okay, guys, we just finished up <clears throat> the iron. So, just so we have something, just so we have this working, let's go ahead and do some copper. All right, that's going to be a couple minutes. We've got to try and remember to finish that up. Um, I also wanted to make a water tank. So, we're going to need screws for that. I like the fact that you need screws and nails. It's really neat. That is um really, really cool. All right, so let's take this. Let's bring this over here. Let's go ahead and make ourselves an anvil. Just one, please. All right, and um, that's going to be five minutes. Oh, boy. I also got some food over here cooking. 
Um, we got some uh, baked potatoes, some grilled meats, can be some like nice carbohydrates and stuff. We're gonna go ahead and eat these tomatoes. And is there anything else I can have for carbohydrates? I'm not really seeing. Oh, oh, potatoes are carbohydrates, of course. Okay, well, I'm cooking some too. All right, so the potatoes are good. We got some meat coming in for some proteins. Um, it doesn't look like we're doing too good with water, which is why I want to make that water container. Because if you make that water container, you can you can craft glass jars and then make um make water uh water jars out of that. Um, I might the torches do go on the walls too. They look a little weird on the walls, but they do go on the walls. All right. And um, at this point, guys, we're just waiting for nails, so I gotta wait for the anvil. Um, I might go out and do some night, uh, some night farming, just because. Um, but I won't record it because it'll be it'll be too dark. So I'll come back when we got the anvil. Okay, I went ahead and moved the uh, the workbench over, and um, this thing I turned off because it was done. And this should just be there. We go. We got an anvil. The anvil's new to me. I I, I don't think this was in the game last time I played. So, this, like, uh, let's put it right there, I guess. That's fine. That's fine. We could just move it later. Um, oh, by the way, I know you guys wanted me to rescue the trader. Uh, we're going to get to that. We're going to get to that, guys. Um, I just want to do some building to show you guys within the first three episodes, you know, how the building works. All right. So, we are looking for iron fragments. So let's, look at some, let's look at some other stuff. Uh, aluminum plates. Um, oh, wow. Oh, cobalt alloy. Cobalt plate. Diamond axe. Oh, I didn't know... I didn't know this stuff was in the game. Oh, iron beam. Iron fragments. Okay. Um, so you get five iron fragments for one ingot. I think that is a great, great trade. Great trade. Uh, we need cobalt alloy to make steel. Titanium. Oh, my God. There was only the iron, uh, the regular fire axes and pickaxes last time I played. Okay. Let's try and keep our cool here. Let's try and keep our fanboy cool here. And let's go ahead. Now, how many of these do we need? for nails i think we need quite a few of these um the output on nails is five we need five all right so the nails are one ingot per that's kind of expensive like do i have that right i don't know maybe if i do that's that's too way too expensive for nails way too expensive i'm just going to make one of these for now yeah so that one ingot is going to give us five and one nail takes five and gives us five nails. No, okay, so one ingot gives us five nails. Okay. Um, yeah, actually, that's, that's pretty good. One ingot is going to give us five nails. Okay, yeah, that is, that's that's perfectly fine. One, one ingot for one nail would have been atrocious. <laughs> um, okay, so yeah, you can only make... Uh, well, I can make one... Uh, yeah, so it takes five. Okay, great, there we go. Yep, and we're going to get five nails out of that. Okay, cool. All right, all right. And that is going to use up the... The mold, just like we thought. So let's go ahead and make some more molds. I pretty much knew that was going to be the case. But I just wanted to make sure because, you know, you never know. All right, 13. Oh, I'm not doing 13. That's unlucky. Uh, let's do 12. Oh, my God. That's going to take forever. I wish I started this earlier. All right, so there's some nails, boys. All right, so what else can we make? Well, th this stuff all seems like high-end stuff. I don't want to be... I'm never going to... I don't want to get diamonds anytime soon. Um... I don't even know where you find titanium. So, honestly, this thing is pretty useless to us, except for the iron fragments at the moment. Probably going to need aluminum plate for something. I just don't know what. Um, the advanced workbench needs steel. Okay. The empty container needs aluminum plates. But you need that for the coffee. Um, I'm not going to waste aluminum on coffee uh, or tea. It's not worth it. Like, not even close. Unless you can use the containers over again. Now, I the idea, I think, with those containers is... Yeah, you make the container, and then you can take the, the chamomile or the green tea, whatever, and put it in the container and make tea. But if the, if the container is reusable, then fine. But if it's not, that's way too expensive. Way too expensive uh, to make tea. So um, I'll probably do that off camera. I'll probably do some tests off camera um, for that. All right, let's go ahead and see if we can make another foundation. I think we're going to need two more foundations for this base. Now, this is going to be a very minimalistic base. Um... Oh, yeah, we need more. This is going to be a very minimalistic base. It's going to be like an outpost. My real base is going to be over there. So that's kind of what I'm thinking right now. So we got a real problem with our thirst. Um, we really, like, our next move has to be the water tank. And I think I have just about everything I'm going to need for it. Um, we're going to do nails first because um, I want to build out the base, but that water tank is going to be right behind it. So we made a bunch of uh, molds here. So let's put the molds in there. Oh, we need the screw molds, too. That's right. 
All right. Well, let's go ahead and make the iron fragments. Uh, actually, the the molds don't go in there. By the way, if you want to if you want to move stuff quickly, it's uh, right click. I keep trying to do shift click, but it's not shift click. It's right click. Um, okay. So how many of these are we gonna need? Screws. Six. Now, how many do we get from this? Now we're waiting for this, right? That's gonna be a couple minutes. Let's go ahead and make. Um, uh, what do we need? Three iron ingots, I think. Let's go ahead and make three iron ingots. It'll only be a minute and a half. Um, and then we will make some nails. We'll also make some screws. Uh, one mold is for five screws. Okay, so the molds are pretty easy. It's the uh, ingots and stuff. There's like a bunch of other islands we can go to. Uh, I didn't want to do that. That's kind of weird. I pressed M. Oh, because I'm trying to move it. There we go. Uh, M is not map. I don't know what it is. We'll come up here. There's a lot of other islands. And on some of these islands, uh, frozen islands. Oh, that's cool. Oh, treasure island. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Um, okay, I'm getting distracted. Anyway, on a lot of these islands, uh, not the island I'm on right now, but other islands, I think Betrayal Island has some, there's cave systems, multiple cave systems. Now, last time I played, ores do not respawn on the surface, but they do respawn in cave systems. I don't know if that's different now, but that's the way it was last time I played. All right, so we got some iron fragments here. I'm still trying to shift click. We got that. We're going to wait for, no, we're not going to wait for anything. We're just going to set up the nails. Um, maybe she used some iron fragments for the screws first. Yeah, yeah. Let's make one set of... Actually, we're going to have to make two sets of screws. Because we need six and you get five output. Okay. Alright, so that's good. And then, and then we'll use the rest of them for nails. Okay. Alright, we need more iron, guys. There's just... There's no two ways about it. I actually found a bag when I was out there farming in between cuts. And I did get some more nails. Um, seems to be a pretty decent amount of nails, you know, out there. But... I don't know. It just never seems like enough. Alright, let's go ahead and continue building. Let's make another foundation. There we go. And we'll put the other foundation right here. And then I think what I'm gonna do is this is going to go here. Maybe I'll make that maybe I'll make these stairs. And then that'll go up to a second floor. Maybe I'll make this two stories high. I'll make it a two by two, two stories high. I think that'll be pretty decent. <clears throat> and then we'll have a little porch right here. Yeah, that'll work. I think that'll be just fine. Um all right, we're just waiting for this. It should be just about done. Yeah, 15 seconds. Okay. And then we're gonna take this and this, and we're gonna put them in here there and there and then we're just waiting for the screws for the water tank cool that's why i need those that scrap plastic man every time you drink a bottle of water you get scrap plastic and you need it for that water tank so make sure you don't you know throw away the scrap plastic or anything like that all right oh we only got 18 nails it's only enough for one more foundation well i'm not gonna be making any more foundations right now but all right well whatever the water tank is the big thing today so what was i waiting for oh yeah the screw wait where are the screw? oh yeah they're wait where are the screws there they are. What the hell was that? You hear that? That might be in real life. I'm sorry, guys. I thought I heard something. It sounded almost like a boat. And it's not a boat in real life. It might be... I don't know what it is. It's weird. I, I live near an Air Force base, so maybe it's plane landing or something. All right. Uh, let's put these in there. And let's craft one of those. All right. It's going to take five minutes. You know what? I'm going to go ahead and get some more iron. Where we oh, I actually have more iron to cook too, don't I? Yes, we do. All right. So I'm going to cook up this iron and then I'm going to go ahead and get some more iron. And uh, we're going to try and get as many nails as we can. All right, guys. I was gone a lot longer than the five minutes re was required. Um, but you know what? I didn't want to like turn away any iron nodes. I found quite a, bu quite a bit. Yeah. Look at this. Um, did I get exactly 100 iron? Wow. I got 100 iron and 20 copper. I also found seven mechanical parts looting stuff, which is pretty cool. <clears throat> All right. So let's go ahead and put this foundation down. This will be the last foundation for this build, um, at least on this floor. You don't put foundations above you. You put, like, ceilings or something. Um, that's not what I wanted to do. I wanted to hit X. There we go. All right. Let's build this sucker. Okay. And what the heck were we crafting? Um, oh, yeah, the water container. Yes. Much needed water container. Number six. Where do I want to put this? Uh, right in the middle? Yeah, it'll make a nice screenshot. All right. Uh, we want the little thing in front. Uh, I can put this on something. I'd like to put it on a table or something, but that's okay. It will be fine on the ground. Um, yeah, let's make some water. Why the hell not? Why the hell not? Okay, so these are with jars. I don't know what you get back, either. Um, wait, where are my jars? I put those in here, didn't I? Okay, so I don't remember how this works. Um, yep, just the jar, and it makes it... I don't know where you get the water from. 
This should really not be a water tank. This should be a water collector. Maybe they, maybe this is just a stand-in. But yeah, this should definitely be a water collector because this, this is a tank. This isn't something that would collect water. But, you know, it's fine. What do we do here? Oh, you could actually use this two scrap plastics to get the murky water. I wouldn't do that because you need plastics for other things. And when you drink a, a bottled water, you only get one plastic back. But it takes two plastics to make it. So you're better off with the jars. Jars, well, you know what? I'll show you right now how you do jars. Well, this is how you do jars, guys. You come into your forge and you set up some sand. 105, let's just do um, 20 for now. Not 120, 20. Um, no fuel, oh, yeah, okay. I wonder if I left this on. Oh, that's right, The whatever was cooking up here had about the same amount of fuel that it was needed to, to cook it, so not a prob, Bob. Craft that. That'll take a couple minutes. And then let's say you crafted your sand. And let's see if we have any sand over here. I think we do. Yep, there we go. There we go. So you get some sand. And, you you know, once your sand's done, you can make it into glass. 50 sand is one glass. Um, and it's five output. And then you need 10 glass for a jar. So you, you turn the uh, sand into glass. You turn the... Uh, or you turn the stone into sand. You turn the sand into glass. You may use the glass to make glass jars. It's a beautiful beautiful thing and there's stones all over the place man like and you need the clay anyway like basically when you hit a stone here let me show you i don't know if you notice this but when you mine stones you get stone 10 times and then at the very end you get a three a three um clay bonus so let's take a look there you go sorry about drinking on sh on video i don't normally do that but i'm hella thirsty all right so that works Awesome. All right, so here is the glass murky water jars. Okay, and then you bring them in here and you turn them in. Do, you, do they go into bottled water? No. Here we go, glass jar. Okay, there we go. And there you go. And that's how we get water, baby. That's what I'm talking about. By the way, you might be wondering what these um, perished food things are. Uh, yeah, that's, well, it's exactly what it sounds like. I, I should have said, are you guys wondering what this trash bag thing is? Yeah, it's perished food. Um, not all food goes bad, but some of it does. Potatoes? Yeah, potatoes go bad. You know what? I should probably cook those. Do the cooked potatoes go bad? Yes, they do. All right, then I'll wait. I want to put some food. Eh, I don't need to. I can just eat it from here. If you hold, if you hold down um, shift and right click, you can eat it from there. There we go. We're going to go ahead and drink some water. Actually, you don't even need to hold down shift. What the hell am I thinking? I don't know. I'm thinking about... Um, actually, is that Empyreon? I think that's Empyreon. That works like that. There we go. We got some glass jars. It's a beautiful thing. What are we doing over here? Okay, you're done. And we got 404 sand. Why did I make glass jars out of that? Oh, why did I make glass out of that? There we go. Let's make some glass. And that's how that works. That's how that works, boys. Okay. Um, what is next? Um, nails. That's right, nails. So let's go ahead and put this stuff in here. Um, we got to make sure we have backup picks. It's very important. And these are broken. I don't know if you can do anything with them, but I don't know. So we do have a backup pick. We do not have a backup axe that I can see. All right, so let's go ahead and make a... You know what? Let's just make a couple backup picks. I mean, we're not going to get the, the upgraded picks anytime soon. So this is really not a waste of time. So let's go ahead to our tools. And we'll make a couple of fire axes. And we'll make a couple picks. And then we'll put the rest of the iron in there and cook it up. I do that first so I can cook all this iron into ingots without having to worry. Um, wait, what? That looked bugged, didn't it? There we go. All right, that's eight minutes. We've got to put some more wood in there. Five should be good. There we go. All right. Now, can we craft anything else for the base? I'd really like to put the porch thing out here. So let's see if we can... Oh, we don't have any nails. That's right. We don't have any freaking nails. Um, yeah, we can't. What did we, how many did we need? Yeah, we could we could do some nails. Hold on. Let's um let's do the um. No, we don't need molds. Sorry, this whole this whole nail thing is really new to me. So, um, let's go ahead and make some more iron fragments. Okay. And I did make a uh, wooden door frame, and that's gonna go right here. Uh, these are gonna be stairs. And this will probably just be some crafting stuff. I'm not going to do too, too any, anything too crazy with this. I'll probably make my bed bedroom upstairs. And this will be the... Ah, this isn't going to be enough of a crafting area. Um, 
I'll probably make the crafting area down here. Maybe some cra maybe some storage upstairs. I'm not really sure. I'll think about it off camera. All right. So I want to make these uh, these nails before we go. So we need to cancel that. Um, put that in there. Make some nails. That'll be 15. Yeah, nails are nails are expensive. I don't think they're ridiculously expensive, but they're they're they're, they're kind of expensive. Maybe uh, now that we can make better pickaxes. See, I don't know when. I don't know. I guess diamond would be after titanium. I don't know. I mean, I honestly have no clue. But what's better? I don't know. Depends. On, it really depends on what kind of game you're playing. All right, we're just gonna wait for this. We're gonna put down the uh, foundation in the front, which is gonna be the porch. We're gonna put down the the wooden door frame, and then we're gonna call it a video. I didn't get nearly as much done today as I wanted to, but I'm not sure what we're gonna do tomorrow. We could be doing a building episode, or we could be rescuing the trader. I kind of want to mix things up, so I think a building episode would probably be better for the flow of the series. But the thing is, if we rescue the trader, we can start buying and selling from the trader, which is kind of important. Yeah, I think we're going to rescue the trader. You guys want to see me rescue the trader, I'm sure. All right, so let's go right here, and the foundation shouldn't take that long. There we go. 30 seconds. Sounds good to me. Um... Let's just look around for a little bit. Can't be sitting there doing nothing. We got a lot of st yeah, just stone everywhere, man. There's stone everywhere. That's just that's what I'm saying with those glass jars. Those glass jars are definitely the way to go if you want to drink. I don't know what you get back for them. You know what? Let's drink one. Oh, we got jar back. That's oh, that's unbelievable, actually. Um, so we're not even gonna need to farm that much, honestly. All right. So here's a problem I have with this game. This is too easy. This is too easy. Um, you need to make something. Oh, wait a minute. Are you guys seeing this? Remaining refills. So this has a certain amount of water in it. That is amazing. It doesn't make any sense though. Like where did this water come from? That's what I'm saying. Um, you need to have to do something to fill this up. This, this thing doesn't make any sense at all. Um, like let's let's look at what it, what it costed to craft. It cost iron, copper, scrap plastic, and screws. Where did the water come from? That's what I'm saying. We need some kind of distiller, water distiller, boiling water, water catch, um, something like that. Um, I'm gonna try and get in touch with the dev this this month and see what's going on. I'm pretty sure they're not gonna do anything until multiplayer is working properly. So, but I'll I'll, I'll ask them to put it on their list. Okay, so we do have the foundation, so let's go ahead and put that down. And that's going to be our porch. Maybe need some kind of, like, staircase going up to that or something. I'll think about that later. Um, number six, and we put that right there. I'm not sure which way this is supposed to go. And I can't move it, which is kind of annoying. Um, actually, I think they look this... I think these things look the same from the outside and the inside. I'm going to have a rule. Anytime I'm not sure where like which side these things are on i'm going to place them from the inside and hope that that works but i think they do look exactly the same from the inside and the outside yes they do okay well that's actually pretty cool um we need some stairs now let's see if we can make the stairs really quick uh rent foundation stairs now nah, we need 15 nails all right, well, that'll have to wait for a future episode. Anyway, guys, if you never joined the video, and I know you did, uh, make sure you hit mash that like button, uncage the like button, kick the like button in the balls, whatever your you know favorite YouTuber says, um, do that to the like button. <laughs> and um, if you're new here, please subscribe for more daily videos. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you next time. And until then, take it easy.